Good evening, I'm Kara Larson. And I'm Mike Brooks. Here are some of the latest news from Two Works For You. Tulsa City Councilors voting to take some time to consider the proposed office of the Independent Monitor. The council voted unanimously Wednesday night to move their vote after several people spoke up about adjusting the ordinance which would monitor Tulsa police. They plan to revisit the issue on September 11th. Until then, they say they want to address and hopefully improve that ordinance. A man paralyzed after he was bitten by a mosquito. Joe Fenton says that he was at work when he felt the bite on his foot. Not long afterward, he says that he started losing feeling throughout his whole body. Doctors found he had a rare case of West Nile. And through a program called PACE, Fenton now gets to attend physical therapy five days a week for free. Tonight, the Oklahoma IT Symposium gave away $30,000 to local nonprofits, including 501 Tech. 501 Tech provides affordable technology support services and products to Oklahoma's nonprofit organizations. There were more than 300 local technology leaders gathered for the event. That organization also made a $30,000 in charitable contributions to the community. The National Weather Service issuing their final rating for a tornado hitting Edmond Monday night. They say it was an EF1, and in that very moment, a woman close by in Guthrie went into labor and says her baby was not waiting for that storm to pass. Thankfully, some brave firefighters stepped in to help deliver her one-pound baby who's being cared for in the hospital tonight. We are tracking our next chance for rain moving back into the area as we head towards Friday into Saturday, diminishing Sunday and Monday as conditions improve. So Saturday is the best chance for rain Sunday and Monday, warm upper 80s to near 90 degrees. Chance for rain Friday morning, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, things improve and dry by Labor Day. Temperatures upper 80s, lower 90s for much of next week. For more news, just go to our website or our mobile app. And our next live newscast starts at 4.30 in the morning with our Two Works for You morning team.